Hello, this tutorial is one of the virtual how-to series brought to you by the Rhodes University Library Scholarly Communications Office. The series is intended to assist researchers to engage with seemingly informal ways by which to promote the visibility of researchers and their research, and at the same time elevate the academic prestige of Rhodes University. There has been a shift in the traditional practices of scholarly work. Technology and digitized environments have brought about this change. A huge aspect of this change is the social element. Scholarly work has become a more social journey, one in which ideas, research and publications are shared more frequently with each other. This tutorial is focused on the role of ORCID in this endeavor. Any discussion involving ORCID has everything to do with online identity and researcher and research content visibility. As you can see, it's all about the individual researcher. Online identity management and ORCID go hand in hand. ORCID is essential to firstly make yourself more discoverable and secondly to increase the visibility of you and your research. This is where we can now start to talk about ORCID. ORCID is a means by which you can build a single online researcher identity. ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor ID. It was developed in 2003 and uses social media technology, which is the power behind ORCID. Throughout this tutorial, you will discover why ORCID needs to become an integral part of your research journey and why the NRF and other funders, academic raters and publishers now make it mandatory for you to register your ORCID when you apply for funding, academic rating or submit an article for publication. Many people assume that once you have your ORCID number that this process is now complete. It's not really. You can do so much more with your ORCID now. ORCID is a valuable means with which to build an online researcher profile and it doubles up also as an online curriculum vitae or CV. The core area of your ORCID profile showcases your research works. How do you add research works to your ORCID profile? There are a number of ways to add works to your ORCID profile. We will look at the search and link option first. So go to add works and there will be a drop down menu and on that drop down menu select search and link. Scroll down to Scopus Elsevier and click. This is where you will add your research output with Elsevier publishers to your ORCID profile. Type in your surname and then name. Click start and follow the prompts to the end of the process. You will be prompted to allow Scopus to connect your ORCID Please do allow or authenticate. When the process is complete, you will discover that your Scopus author ID will appear under the facets of other IDs in your ORCID profile. You will also see research articles that you have published via Elsevier Publishers. They will be listed under your works facet. Apart from Scopus, you can link your ORCID profile to your other research articles using what they call wizard links. The most commonly used wizard links or Crossref Metadata Search, and not seen on this screen um, is Europe PubMed Central and MLA Bibliography. There is another way to add your research articles published by different publishers to your ORCID profile. The list could include a publisher or just the title of the journal. So go to the top right of your screen and you will see your profile name. Click on your name to open up the drop down menu. On the drop down menu, select account settings and then go scroll down to trusted organizations. Trusted organizations are those to which you have granted permission to interact with your ID and re record. For example, when submitting a manuscript or grant application, you can decide whether to grant this access and you can revoke it at any time. In order for you to Connect other publishers and journal titles. Go to learn more and follow the instructions from there. There will be articles and other research output that need to be added to your works manually. To do this, go to the works facet and click on add works. Select add manually from the drop, drop down menu. A prompt menu will guide you to ensure you input all the details you need to make your research article or output more visible. The more details you are able to provide, the more you are able to make your article or output more visible. 
Under Work Identifiers, you will be prompted to select an identifier type. Here you can start typing the letter D, which will open options for you. If you have a DOI or a Digital Object Identifier, you can select that. If you have a handle, often found via Sabinet and Institutional Repository Articles, you can select Handle. Or if you have a URL to publish your sites and websites, you can select Other Identifiers. Copy your DOI handle or URL and paste it in the Add ID Identifier value. You will see that it also populates the Add URL in the Identifier URL section. If your article is published in another language other than English, it is advocated that you choose that language option in the box titled Language used in this form. It is advocated to state the country of publication, especially if it is South African or African research, so that we can promote South African and African research output to the global research community. To set the visibility, most of the time this option is set for the open public to view your article. However, if this, is, if this article is under an embargo of any kind, you can block the public to see this article by selecting the lock value. This allows you to keep your article in your ORCID work so that everything is listed in one place, but also allows you the control as to whether other people can see it or not. Then remember to click on Add to List when you are finished, and then this article will be added to your, your works. You will notice that we have not yet spoken about the, the section Work Category here, and we're going to talk about that now. Go to Pick a Work Category and open the drop-down menu. You will see that there are a number of uh, work categories that you can choose from. Um, there's publication, conference, intellectual property and others. Select publication and you will see that the work type automatically defaults to journal article. Use the drop down menu at work type to see what other types of publications can be added to your ORCID works profile. And you can see there's a whole range there from book chapter all the way down to translation. You can explore the other work categories of conference, intellectual property and other to see what other kind of work types um, you will be able to add to your ORCID. This tutorial has shown you why researchers should build their online researcher profiles and how to build these profiles. What is left to talk about is how ORCID interoperability works. In brief, researchers submit articles to publishers for publication. Publishers now require researchers to also submit their ORCID number. Once the publisher publishes the article, they share that information via the ORCID number to the employer and to the funder. This is how the ORCID principle of enter once, reuse often is applied. Finally, there are many researchers who shy away from promoting their research. However, one of the simplest ways to disseminate your ORCID researcher profile is to include it in your email signature. And anybody who opens up your emails and uh, find themselves interested in the same interests that you are interested in will be able to open up your ORCID and start furthering collaborations that way. For more information and assistance with your ORCID researcher profile, please contact your principal faculty librarian. The details are listed here for you. Or, alternatively, you can contact the Librarian Scholarly Communication. The details are listed here too. We are happy to engage with you on your ORCID journey.